Hello everybody, and welcome to another edition of Friday of Plays over here at linktothecast.eu. Episode 5 of my oxen-free playthrough. Picking up just where we left off with our new radios and a cryptic clue. That I think means I need to go to the antique shop. So if you remember from the last episode, alpha, this November, was the code. Tango, last one. India, so, first letter of each word. Uniform. Echo. Eventually. Oh my god, the the Kamaloa was destroyed by friendly fire? We we've been lied to all this time. So I'm heading back up, I'm going all the way across and down, and I gotta go steal a boat. Alex, why are you wearing that jacket? It's like 75 degrees and the sun's out, you know? And I thought you said you were gonna go swimming anyway. The sun is not out. The sun is... I guess it barely came out just now. But see, this is when I get punished for watching the weatherman. He said it was gonna be like overcast. He said there was a chance for clouds. Hey, Michael, we didn't bring drinks. Did we? Wait, Michael? Uh, yeah? What is it? Did I almost step on a crab or something? What? How? Why am I here? What? You don't want to hang out at the beach? There's stuff in town, but it's all boring knick-knack shops or whatever. No, come on, Alex. No, I mean, in this time period. Ah, oh, jeez, you're hitting the existential nostalgia trip already? I get it, Alex. I would have been happier in the 70s. The 70s? It's like the worst time. You're dead. I'm dead. I'm dead? I think she's talking about the- Oh, the- the car? No, they don't- Listen, Mom and Dad know. They don't care. Well, I mean, they cared a little, but they know I can fix a broken- No, Michael, like, you are really, genuinely dead. You died. Okay. I see. This is because- you smoked with Ren before you came out here. I knew it. I so knew it. I cannot believe you didn't share with me. Today turned out to be a flawless day. It really did. Yeah, no, it did. It really did. I wanted to bring a kite, but thought you'd laugh at me. Uh, yeah. Um, it really is kind of ideal, actually. Yeah, I'm like right about to start sweating, but I'm not. No, it is perfect ice cream and tennis weather. That is rare. 
This is weird. It's been a spell since we did something, right? I feel like I haven't talked to you in a while. How have you been? What's been going on? How's classes? How's... Truthfully, I've, um... I've... Ah, sorry. I think... Yeah, I... <laughs> I accidentally left my phone on the ferry, because I do things like that. <laughs> oh, God, you idiot. Go get it before it leaves. When I get back, I want to hear an Alex story. <laughs> well, can't I just come with you? I'll take two seconds. Think of something to tell me. So... Uh, <laughs> if I were to ask you if you were, um, past Clarissa, that wouldn't make any sense to you, right? Past Clarissa? Like, like am I past the name Clarissa, or... I guess I don't understand. Uh, forget it. It's all right. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm glad we could all do stuff today. I'm glad you were cool with it, I mean. I know you guys are really close, and, like, I know it can be annoying when somebody starts keeping all their time for their girlfriend or whatever. So, I think it would be cool if we could, like, continue to do things together. Yeah, I, uh totally understand and yeah let's uh, do stuff you know cool cool michael uh he loves you like a lot i'm sure you know that but he talks about you all the time <laughs> oh alex did this and yeah well i love him too I had to fight the skipper for it but he didn't reckon how many squats i could do what's it up to six only on burrito days on non-burrito days it's like eight Ah, oh, Jesus, thank God you're back. It's like an eternity sitting here with this one. <laughs> Thanks a lot. No, I know what she's talking about. Hey, I'm interesting, I'm entertaining. <laughs> thank you. So, I actually really want a cold something, so I'm gonna run into town and get like a soda. Anybody want anything? Um, no, nah, I'm good. Uh, yeah, get me a drink too? Sure, I'll be back. Okay, I'm here. What's the story? I want the news. I want the Alex first edition. What's going on? I've missed you, man. I've, I've just missed you a lot, that's all. Hey, come on. I've missed you, too. And I know I've been hanging out with Princess, but it's a two-way thing. You can knock on my door. We live in the same house. We gotta bring back movie night and board game night. Yeah, sure. And look, I know this was supposed to be our day. But I completely forgot I promised Clarissa I'd do something with her, so thanks for chaperoning. I know it's not what you had in mind, so... Yeah, no problem. Just don't get all smoochy-smooch while I'm in the general vicinity. <laughs> because that would ever happen. It's important to me that you like Clarissa, Alex, so tell me the truth. What do you really think of her? Stick with it. Stay with her. If she makes you happy, if she makes you laugh, who am I to say anything otherwise? Thank you. Good blessings, good tidings. You know, I never noticed. That's a good-looking jacket. I should ask for it back. I don't like my new one. Feels like I got shoes on my arms or something. <sighs> you know what, Bucko? I need it more than you. <laughs> Bucko? You haven't called me that in years. Alex, are you... All right, are you back with me now? Man, you've been acting like a... I don't even know how to put it, like a bird, just flitting around in circles for ten minutes. I was about to, like, slap you or scream or something. I, uh... I, I don't know. What was I doing? Well, let's see. First you stopped walking, then you started spinning. Slowly, like a dying top. And then you were talking about sandwiches, like in your sleep. I thought, honestly, I was watching your brain melt. I haven't been talking about stupid sandwiches. Haven't you realized that I was gone for however long? I went through... it... It was one of those time loop things. Time loop thing? Really? You didn't leave. 
We've been here the whole time, both of us. Well, you more physically than mentally, I guess. But other than that, I really... Hey, why aren't you at the tower? This one got a little antsy. Weird stuff was playing on the radio. That voice said I had a mother's laugh. What does that even mean? Anyways... Are we happy? We are happy. We got a new radio that's supposed to open doors and gates in some magical way. Oh, thank God. I was getting nervous that you would have walked all that way and then not found anything. Seeing as how it was my advice to uh, do the whole thing. How have um, you two been? What am I working with here? How much leering am I going to have to put up with? No, I'm glad we can leave. Let's put it that way. Yeah, don't even tiptoe in the vicinity of a joke right now. I just want to get out of here. Well, if the radio's the thing... It doesn't matter without Clarissa. Do I really have to point out that she's not here? Look, oh. we got the way in. Let's just do what we meant to do and check to see if the boat works. But not leave yet, right? Listen, if we have the key, which is apparently this radio, then let's just go to the house and see. And if it looks like we can leave that way, then we'll go on a Clarissa hunt. <sighs> All right. I think you're supposed to use the radio to tune into the gate, right, Alex? I guess the radio will open this somehow? Hopefully. Give it a whirl. Please have a boat, please have a boat. Just think happy thoughts. Yeah, happy. That house is huge. That lady really knew how to live. It's like the Chateau de... How did she get so rich if she was just like a communications person or whatever in the military? I think I said when we got here, her family like owned part of the island or something. I think she just inherited a lot, honestly. needs keys. There are no oars. And before we go crazy, it's not... It wasn't with Maggie's stuff back at the office, like with the radio? No. We looked through all of her stuff, I think. Huh. Well, uh... What's plan B if we can't... Keys, they... They have to be in the house. For the movers or her family, you know? That's as good a guess as any. Sometimes when I lock myself out of my house, I'll just... I can't help but just stare at the deadbolt trying to, like, hypnotize it to open or something. You ever do that? Um, not really. But we can try that now if you think it'll help. It's a radio lock. The woman sure did love her antiquated security. a nifty gizmo. Finally. Clarissa, oh, God, Jesus. You scared me. Thought you were like Maggie Adler's dead body or something. Clarissa, where have you been? After we saw you in town, you just... Hey, I could ask you the same thing. It was like I sneezed and you were gone. I ended up in the fields and just decided to come here and like wait it out. I haven't seen anybody since, so I thought I'd camp it up. Uh, and then how'd you get past the gate? It's like a slab of wrought iron. It looked impossible to climb. 
Well, apparently it's not that impossible since, you know, I'm here. I thought you hated physical activity. Uh, not when my life's in peril. Christ. Look, Clarissa's here, so everyone's here now. We can just... everyone's okay, all right? That's a good yeah, thing. Yeah, let's just find the keys to the boat or a phone or whatever and just find a way home. I promise. We can all keep talking and... I don't care what she says, just everyone keep your eye on her. Yeah, if you're all not careful, I might put my feet on the upholstery. Okay, we get it. Haha, -ha, carry on. Everybody find something and hope that it helps. Oh, that's an attic? Thought it was like a cat's toy or something. Wanna come up? Yeah, sure. The chest is padlocked. Needs a combination. Mrs. Adler was either paranoid beyond belief or just a very tidy woman. Well, she buried information in sonically camouflaged containers, Jonas. My guess is paranoid. Oh, it's a... it's a draft of her letter that she left in the office. To whom it should concern. She left notes everywhere, she said. Hidden with secret signals. She was an odd one, I'll give her that. But, you know, cool in a way. Maybe she was up to something, you ever think of that? I mean, she's wrapped up in this thing somehow. Well, maybe, but also things don't have to make sense. Sometimes stuff Literally just happens not watching and the and they're all gone. What the fuck? It's been disconnected. Bummer. How are you doing? How are you doing? I think about as bad as everybody else right now. I feel like I've been run over with a truck. With uh, acid wheels, if that makes sense. Yeah, that's pretty much been the slogan of the night. We'll make shirts when we get home. Man, she owned enough books. It's mostly math, I think. Ergodic thermodynamics. And religion. Sheesh, okay, there's a lot of... Okay, we get it. She liked the smell of paper. Fascinating insight. We'll all miss... Okay, why don't you get off your ass and help then? I am helping, by keeping out of the way of more enterprising sorts like yourself. Ugh. Have you seen this? It's like a, a star map or a diagram of planets or something. Yeah, why would she need anything like a map of the universe? I mean, it's not like she's bouncing stuff off satellites for a job. Or maybe they were back then, what do I know? Remember that guy? Where are your parents? You kids better than- Oh, um, Chad's lake house. Yeah, yeah, that guy was a friggin' weirdo. Uh, yeah. There's like a ledger here. The Adler family does own the island. 
Never doubt me. And here's the combination for the... There's a, a padlock chest in the attic upstairs. 29, 18, 54. Uh, cool? She made a lot of... What should I call these? Slides? They're not videos. Um, silent memories? There's something in here. Just looks like vacation slides or something. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Are you, um, doing okay? Yeah, I'm alright. Yeah? We're going home soon, so... Yeah, that's true. radios and those containers we saw at the town office. Oh, and like a map of the caverns. She's written here, tune into the source. We think that means she couldn't have known about the ghosts, right? Tune into the source. It, it's probably something about the special radios, you know? Huh. Is this... Ah, the boat keys. Got them. Let's blow this pop stand. Oh, I just got that. Popsicle stand. It does make sense. All right, we got keys for the boat. Where? Jonas found them in a chest upstairs. So say thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I was just saying it. It's not directed at you or anything. Okay. Alex. Oh, Alex. Come down here, please. We have something we want to show you. Uh, Clarissa? Where are you? In the family room, dear. Well, an oil man soon. Nona, come on, honey. It's time to motor. This is trippy shit. Run, come on. We got a boat to catch, buddy. Come on, Jonas. I I really need you. Don't blank out on me now. Ah, there you are. Now we imagine you're a bit confused. But don't fret. This will be the final part of your training, Alex. All training is supervised by very skilled instructors. Training? I, I don't want to be trained. What are you, you signed up for this, Alexandra? In the caverns, you tuned in to our signal. So please, I cannot bear your excuses, offspring. I wish I hadn't tuned into that stupid thing, okay? If I knew what it was gonna do, do you... Do you really think I would have even brought this radio? Shh. It's okay. Everything, Everything will, will be, be fine. fine. The test is easy. We will speak of something we see in the house, and you will go and find it. See? As simple and good-humored as your mother's apple pie. What is it with you guys and all the... the games? You're like dogs or children. Just what is the point? The point, dear, the point is that they were never games. And you can figure that out by your lonesome. Now, let's start with the softball. I spy, with my little eye, radiation. There is, of course, a time limit here. So, ten, nine, eight. Is it... are you talking about the TV? Very good. Well done. The older models of the next rays. But right now, it would be wise to think of radiation. Sure, my other sense. Pay attention. What does this have to do with, with us? I mean, we're. we're I not... spy. With my little eye, a notch. Let's make this a little harder, okay? Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Uh, is it the. the this painting? It, it looks kind of like a knot. Excellent, excellent, excellent. You're doing so well. It's time for the bonus round out, so stay quick. This is one you'll really want to find. I spy with my little eye a picture of a memory. 
Be fast now. The the picture of of I guess it's Maggie Adler and somebody. Is this it? Yes, very nice. That's Margaret Adler and her friend Emma. See, you and your schoolyard chums are experiencing. Well, this has sort of happened before. Maggie and Emma tried to sport with us many years ago, and well, only one survived. But in the process, we discovered a way for us to return, so to speak. It just takes a little time. Wait, what? What happened to Anna? Let's leave it at the poor girl didn't know what she was playing with. It doesn't matter. I'm not an eternal recurrence. The waves. It's the waves, we think. And we will use the waves to absorb into your friends so as sunlight blooms into flowers. And we will grow. And we will engulf. You, you can't do that! Think about what you're doing! We can do that, Alex. And what has seemed to your parents as 80 years has been for us eons to know an existence without life. We tried it too quickly with Anna, but now we know to wait and soak. We had to keep you here, on the island. And it will be a great honor, Alex, really, to carry us through this life. And on to the next. You... you had your t you had your time. Don't take ours. At our time, it was ripped from us. We watched the universe's conception fly to its demise over and over and over again. Dashed on the rocks. We had until dawn, and so will you. We would spend our time wisely, and we thank you for your good service. Well, that could have gone better. He can live his own life. Okay, seriously, who are you? Me first. Uh, it wasn't a dream or a vision or something. You and Clarissa standing oh. in the living room just now, was it? Ugh. Ah, no. But I wish it was a dream. Usually there's a lot more talking horses. We're in, like, trouble. Yeah. God, that all... Well, I mean, we're in trouble only if you don't like getting your soul consumed by a hundred-year-old submarine crew. Okay. So, I mean, Christ. If Clarissa was whisked away to the cave by nuclear submarine monsters, then... I mean, the plan has to be to retrieve her, right? I'm still going to call them ghosts, if that's okay. Clarissa uh is only, like, one slice of the problem. We're all infected, or whatever, so we need to rip the issue off like a bandage all at once. Okay, great, yeah. But how do we do that? Well, uh... Good question. Maggie? Ah, I think Maggie Adler might have had some sort of a plan or a, a scheme or something to fix what's going on. What possible plan could Maggie Adler have? First of all, she's dead. And second of all, she was like the island Mother Goose. She, she wrote in her journal or something or other about tuning into the source of the problem in the cave. And I think she was talking about the ghosts. Well, if we're going to the cave... Oh, actually, I forgot. I saw the entrance has been caved in since you guys went inside. All right, I know there are a whole bunch of secret communist bomb-fearing tunnels dug into this place during the 1950s. 
and Maggie has loads of film about military stuff in her basement, so... Maybe there's a way back into the cave through one of those, you're thinking? <sighs> Let's take a look. What kind of name is a Fippany Fields anyway? <coughs> Wait, is it a Fippany? It's, uh... It's Epiphany Field. Oh, that makes more sense. Okay, that's going to do it for this episode of Friday of Plays Oxen Free. Stuff is getting real, real weird, but we're, um, I think we're starting to close in on maybe towards the end point. I, I genuinely don't know how long this game is, so uh, we'll see. We'll definitely have at least one more part out of it, if not two. Um, link to the cast at EU is the website. I'll link to the cast on Twitter, facebook.com forward slash link to the cast. Go on there. Subscribe to our podcast on SoundCloud, iTunes, Podcast Addict, Stitcher, wherever you get your podcasts. Uh, rate and review on there. That really helps us out. Uh, this week's podcast is, ex is uh, an excellent episode where we talk about uh, Batman Arkham Asylum, um, 2008 uh, revolutionary superhero action game. Uh, a lot of good chat on there, of course, talking about what we're playing at the moment and all the news of the week. So check it out. Uh, I've been Dave Ryan at Dave Ryan. I'll be on Twitter and I'll talk to you all next week.